I can't stop salivating. It's really hard to say words. I've had to do this take a couple times, just trying to tell you what I'm feeling right now. Hello again, friends, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris, and today we're gonna be getting just a little bit saucy. So Canada has a fast food chain called Harvey's, which was established back in 1959. And their gimmick is that they're known for their hamburgers, which you build yourself, kind of like Subway. You choose your own toppings displayed right in front of you. So if you don't want mayo, you don't get any nasty surprises. But we're not going to talk about their burgers today. We'll save that for another time because Harvey's has taken a little trek through the city of Buffalo and have sauced up a bunch of new chicken options. Right now, Harvey's is promoting their buffalo chicken with a whole lot of signage advertising the existing products such as their buffalo chicken sandwich and their buffalo chicken puts in. However, they also have a new addition to their buffalo family, the buffalo chicken nuggets. So that's what I grabbed. And as well, they also have a limited time chocolate marshmallow pie. And hey, I'm only a mere mortal. There's no way I was gonna say no to a chocolate marshmallow pie. But to get my dessert, I've gotta have my main course first. So let's start with the chicken nuggets. So the first thing that's evident about these nuggets is just the powerful, awesome smell of the hot sauce. If I had a cold, my sinuses would be cleared right up right now because there's just so much vinegar in the air, it, it's wonderful. Now, the next thing I notice is just how thick that breading is. So most restaurants use a much thinner coating on their chicken nuggets, almost tempura style, if I'm thinking of, you know, McDonald's or Burger King. This is a really thick chicken sandwich batter. And I appreciate that. It makes them feel a little bit more grown up than your traditional kitty nuggets. So props on them for their choice of breading. You know what, let's go ahead and do that cross section now and see what they look like. So there you go, take a look at that. These look really good. They're a lot less mechanically separated than the really spongy nuggets you'd get at McDonald's. Now, granted, the price on these reflects this. You're gonna be paying nearly a dollar per nugget, but so far so good in terms of the overall presentation of these things. But you know, really the main thing is the flavor, so let's find out how it tastes. can't stop salivating. It's really hard to say words. I've had to do this take a couple times just trying to tell you what I'm feeling right now. Guys, that's a home run. That breading is thick and crunchy. I, I've got to suspect that buffalo sauce is Frank's because it's got that tangy vinegar flavor that you come to expect from Frank's. The chicken's texture feels like actual white meat chicken. It's super tender, juicy, not dried out. And they gave me my choice of dipping sauces, but I, I didn't want any. I think these stand up just fine on their own and they don't need any special props, at least as far as I'm concerned. I'm genuinely surprised at how good these are. And I only say that because their burgers are sort of middle of the road, their hot dogs are bleh, but these guys know they're chicken. This is an upper tier fast food chicken product, a category where, you know, restaurants are actively working to raise their game. So really good work on the part of Harvey's um, on an excellent chicken nugget. I actually put these on par with the kind of chicken that you get from Chick-fil-A, and that's about as high praise as I could give any chicken product at all. Really, really good. All right, let's give a wipe to the knife because we are going to need it for what's up next. So up next, we have the chocolate marshmallow pie. Chocolate marshmallow pie debuted back in 2017 and has been a mainstay on their fall menus ever since. It's their take on the campfire s'mores, which is a bit surprising that it's rolling out at this time of year because we're more concentrated on getting winter tires on our cars than battling mosquitoes the size of John Travolta. So you can probably see that this has a crunchy exterior and that's because Harvey still deep fries their pies. I think Harvey's recognizes that if fast food consumers really wanted a baked pie, they probably wouldn't be eating at a fast food restaurant to start with. And I'm looking squarely at you, McDonald's. I do kind of love that Harvey's has heard all of the medical data over the last 30 years suggesting that we cut down on trans fats and calories. And they're like, yeah, that's cool. But did you know that we've got more put-in options now in small, medium, large, and dumpster sizes? Look, y'all, the reality is Harvey's is not adding anything green to their menu that hasn't been battered and deep fried first. All right, look at that warm gooiness in the middle. Look, if you want to keep staring at this beauty, I recommend that you pause the video right now because you've got about three seconds before I inhale this like an industrial vacuum cleaner. Mm. 
Mm. It's really hot in the middle, but it's so sweet. But if you're in the mood for a super rich, super chocolatey, decadent treat, this is it. It's hot, it's chocolatey, it's marshmallowy, and it's been melted down, but it's still got its, you know, pillowy softness to it. Oh, damn, Harveys! Y'all just brought it today, didn't you? And hey, if you felt that I brought it today, I'd love to have you smash the subscribe button because 250 subscribers by Christmas would be an incredible gift. Of course, don't forget to like this video, share it, and comment below on what you'd like to see more of. And beyond that, you know the drill. I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao for now.